Hey guys, Retro Reseller coming back to you. I know it's been like forever since I've done a video, but uh, such a busy summer. No excuse, I get it. Uh, but the summer has been pretty crazy here. As, as a youth pastor, just your summer just fills up like crazy. I also do two podcasts for ministry stuff. And so always this eBay stuff does take a backseat to my ministry work. My ministry work is my primary job that I do. And it's such an incredible blessing to be able to do something like that, to be able to invest in the lives of teenagers. I could tell you story after story, but let's get right to the eBay stuff. Um, man, I have kind of slowed down on eBay uh, because eBay slowed down on me a little bit. And I know because of the Facebook community over there at eBay Sellers United, if you have not joined that, by the way, you can do so. Uh, I'll, put the, I'll drop the link down there in the description. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this video series, please do so. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, you can see I'm going to be putting out a few more videos here. Uh, and what was I saying before? Uh, squirrel. Um, uh, oh yeah, back to eBay being slow. I saw in the community that eBay has been slow for a lot of people. And I think, and I'm sticking with my guns here, I think it's because they're, the market is just so saturated with sellers right now. Everyone is getting on board. So I've kind of been just riding out this storm because I've been selling for a while. My first year selling on eBay was just phenomenal and then it just got slower and slower and slower. But eBay's back to marketing themselves now. So I think we're gonna start to see a rise back in eBay sales. I've already seen a rise in my sales even at the later parts of the summer. I realize also that there, summer is usually just a, a desert of sales, but we are about to enter uh, I think we're already in quarter three, aren't we? And then about to enter the ever popular quarter four of online sales. So right out the storm and um, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Let me show you a few things that I've sold. I'm gonna start with this Ralph Lauren Classic Fit um, multicolored men's short sleeve shirt from Polo Ralph Lauren. Always be on the lookout for that pony, but also remember that the pony doesn't always sell uh, this just happens to be a popular style and a popular color scheme. So this one sold decently. $26 would be decent. I spent $4 on this at a Goodwill. This Canali shirt, I spent $2 on it at an Oklahoma City thrift store. I'm not going to share with you specifically which one because then I would be giving away my secrets. But a few of, the, a few of my subscribers out there know which ones I'm talking about. $60 is what this one sold for. Some of these I just watched, walked through a Neiman Marcus the other day. And saw, excuse me, I'm tripping over my words here. And saw a Canali dress shirt, brand new for four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now they don't resell for that much, but sixty dollars for a um, for that two-dollar dress shirt, I'll take that. And I have one more to sell too. I'm just hoping that it'll sell pretty quick. This Bertolini, I believe, is how you pronounce it. Not a popular brand, but it was a slim fit suit, and it was a popular notch lapel with the that stark design on it with that pinstripe and a popular size too those long suits people go online to look for those longer suits with the larger sizes and I know that's not a huge size but it's kind of a taller pant and that flat front is always a positive so $100 is what it sold for I paid 10 for it excellent condition you can also see that I paid or I took these photos with my iPhone not high quality I've switched over to my DSLR since then these MBTs, always one to be on the lookout for. Not as popular as they used to be, but I paid, let me see here, $5 for these. God, they've been online for quite a while before they sold, but ultimately sold them as an auction. This was purchased a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I should say. At a Dillard's closeout sale. Maybe you've seen some of those items on my previous videos. Finally, this sold. I had originally listed for over $100, but it just was not moving. So I went ahead and I still didn't take a hit on it. I mean, if you want to consider me holding it on, holding onto it that long a hit, then yeah, I did. But ultimately, thirty dollars for a seven dollar item was for the pants and the jacket as well. I believe the pants were included. Maybe not. Oh, it was a vest and jacket combination. That's what it was. I paid ten dollars for this on eBay. Actually, so that was shipped. So I just got in in one of those last second auctions and just put in a bid and I sold it for 50 when they paid for shipping as well. So that was a good 
profit there. By the way, Pendleton is always a brand to look out for. Let me show you the the tag. I've showed a lot of these tags before, but I don't want you to forget that blue, that gold against that blue. It's a an Oregon um, made in Oregon. It's more of a coarse wool, kind of like a Harris Tweed usually. Ralph Ralph Lauren. This is their one of their higher end labels. And there's what the label looks like. Ralph Ralph Lauren. This is one of the their Dillard's jackets, and I paid seven dollars for it. Paid two dollars for this long ago, and I tried to get like sixty or seventy bucks out of it. Some of those go for sixty or seventy dollars, but ultimately wound up taking a little bit less, thirty dollars, but still a profit. These were uh, shout out to one of my friends, Matt, who goes to the same church as I do. He's been selling for a little over a year. He was up in Pensacola, and he gave me a call. He said, hey, I found a whole big box of dress shirts still in the package. All of them are Ike Behar. Some of them were John Varvatos USA. Those didn't sell as well, but they were $3 each. So I said, grab as many as you can, and I'll buy as many as you let me. So I paid $3 for each of these because he found those. All of them were 15 and a half, 34, 35. Got 13 of them, and I've sold, I think, 11 of those so far. This is the highest one I've sold for, $40, and the rest of them about $20, 20 to $24, the rest of them. So pretty good margins. These next three items I'm going to show you, I only paid a dollar for them each. This was in Seattle. I was kind of discouraged at the prices of their clothing on the racks. So I kind of walked to the back. My curiosity got the best of me. I looked through one of their bins, and actually their whole electronics aisle was just a disaster. It was a mess, but I, I did the work of going through some of the things, and I found this little tote, dug through it, and found a couple of these calculators. So I started looking up their their number, and their number is just right on the top there, TI83+. plus. Looked that up, saw what they sold for, and said, all right, let's do this. So at a dollar, you can't really lose. Somebody paid $48 for it pretty quickly, and it just so happened that the timing was perfect because school's about to start back up, and I actually got a... Uh, a great review back from one of the parents and said this is for my son and this was uh, great uh, for him to get perfect it was timely so I left the batteries in it because the batteries came with it not on this one though batteries weren't included but this one came with the CD and the actual calculator itself uh, 65 is what this one was um, this one went for only paid a dollar and then this Dyson charging station $34 sold pretty quickly as well. Those electronics sell really quick usually. So I'm going to start focusing on the electronic aisle a little bit more. They're kind of hit and miss here and there, but some sometimes you'll find that home run. Paid $11 for these next three suits that I'm going to show you. These are more of my recent sales, and these were huge. I love getting that cha-ching sound on my phone, looking down and seeing a $210 item being sold. Plus, they paid shipping. So these were great items to sell. These Regent Fit, which is more of a slim fit on the 1818 Brooks Brothers models. Here's the other one. Uh, it looks like this. It's a peak lapel, that gray pinstripe. Just any of those slim fit suits just sell great. This Canali was also found along with these suits. This was a smaller one. Look at the 28 on the length. It's a three button, one of those dark pinstripe suits, those Canali, those Canali buyers, they love those conservative looking business suits and the, so that's why this one didn't sit very long. So so if you ever find a Canali suit, be sure and pick that up. I'd be willing to pay 25 to 40 dollars for a Canali suit if it's in the right condition. And this one paid off, paid 11, got 189. By the way, the price is 199, 189, 209.99. Sorry, two hundred nine ninety nine. I have two more listed right now for this price right here. Hoping to get those because they have a lot of watchers on them right now. Finally, this putter. This is kind of a unique situation here because this Tiger Woods Junior putter. It's a forged head on it, and adults like the club just for the head of it. They want to take the head off and put it on a longer shaft, and so that's why they buy them, and that's why they're willing to pay a premium for them because they're a forged club head. So that was a good, I paid $2 for that. Just a great pickup of items this over these past couple months. For a summer, it wasn't too shabby, but it was still a lot slower than 
than previous years, but I want to encourage you to keep on selling, and God bless each and every one of you.